Hello everyone, uh, this is Sniper, and this is Skyrim Mod Adventures, um, a show where I take Skyrim mods and showcase them to all of you for your entertainment. Um, let me talk about, before we get started here, I want to talk about a little bit about what we're going to be doing. Um, primarily, I'm going to be going through uh, different quest mods, like um, a few that I have planned out are uh, Moonpath to Elsewhere, Falscar, and Worm's Tooth. And through, throughout those showcases, I'll also, or throughout those quest lines, I'll also be showing um, different armor mods I know about, and occasionally some follower mods. Um, and I'm making this series, or a big reason I'm making this series, is because a lot of people don't have access to these mods. Maybe their computer isn't strong enough, or whatever the reason is. Um, whatever the reason is. Uh, I was like that for a long time. I, I didn't have access to these mods, and I want to uh, showcase them to people that don't have the access, because these are <laughs> really great. I mean, I played vanilla game for so long, uh, and I can't believe what I was missing out on. Um, I think that's everything I wanted to mention. Oh, um, the characters I'll be playing as. Um, I think primarily, I'm going to go back and forth between two different characters. One of them is a drow, uh, a drow female using the UNP body, because most armor mods that I know about are for females, um, and so if I'm going to be showcasing armor mods, it makes sense that I play as a female. I typically play as a male, and that's going to be my other character, a dark elf. Um, and, yeah, most, um, I haven't played through any of these quest mods before, so this is based, this is the first time I'll ever be experiencing uh, Moonpath to Elsewhere, which is the first um, mod I'm, I'm going to be uh, playing through. Um, without any further delay, uh, let's get started. I don't know what that's talking about, but okay. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I, wrote, <laughs> I loaded the wrong save. I didn't mean to do that. Um, Alright, well, let's see. Pause. Load. Asara. Now, the drow race, I find their lore really interesting. Um, and I'd like to see some more expansion on that, like different followers, um, and maybe a couple quests. Because they've been around for quite a, quite a long time. And they haven't gotten much spotlight, but I honestly think they're one of the best, um, best races here. Let me stand up. I'm using the Sit Anywhere mod, by the way, so here she is, Asara, in all her glory. Um, and this place I'm standing at is Leaf Rest, which is my favorite player home as of right now. I, I've seen a, a, a couple others, and I, I just have to say, this one's this one's my favorite, because it has just so much interactivity inside. Uh, I'm not going to show you the inside yet. I'm going to do, in one of the future episodes, I'll um, give you a tour of different house mods I have installed. Um, let me talk about the environment on a bit on my way to White Whiterun. Oh, on this save, I haven't done anything. Um, I, I really just got out of Pelkin. Uh, let me talk a bit about the environment that I have set up. Um, I'm using Sharpshooters ENB, um, along with Seasons of Skyrim Summer, Summer Edition. Uh, I have a water effect going on. Yeah, I think that's... Oh, um, I also have, like, my, I'm, bl I'm blanking on the names right now. Um... But all the mods I'm using will be in the description, so uh, 
I guess if you want your game to look just like mine does, uh, you can look through there. And we're coming up on White Run now, and do I have a weapon? <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, this was in uh, Leaf Rest. Oh, I feel bad about that. I feel really bad about that. Okay. Um, where'd he go? All right. Well, as long as he's not bothering me, I guess I don't care. Um, ah, what was I saying? All the, all the mods I'm using will be in the description, but right now I want to talk about Whiterun that we're coming up on. Uh, a lot of the, a lot of this, actually, no, most of the cities in Skyrim felt Imperial empty. They didn't business. feel like way. real cities. And Whiterun especially, because it's supposed to be, um, the trade capital of Skyrim, yet there weren't a lot of people in it. Like, we know Nazim, who won't shut up about the Cloud District. He he says, do you get the, do you get to the Cloud District very often? He says it like, it's on the, it, he says it like you live in northern Manhattan, and he's asking if you get to Times Square very often. I mean, it's, it's like 30 feet away, and an inconveniently long staircase, but that's it. That, the cities are not big. And then you can hear NPCs over talking like, what brings you to the market today? And it's like, oh, what brings me to the only thing to do in the entire city? And ugh, it's ridiculous. And that's why I'm showing you uh, my modded white run. And I have a couple mods active that I do remember. I have wonderful white run, which is a, it's actually a rather new mod. Uh, but I really enjoy it. The, the differences are very subtle, but noticeable. And it really adds a great atmosphere to it. I also have Beautiful White Run, which is working in conjunction to it. And <laughs> you'll see how beautiful that is when I get in there. And the fact that I have Seasons of Skyrim Summer Edition on, and so the trees inside are different colors, that just makes it all the more amazing. Um, and you're already starting to see the differences. The third mod I had, have on is um, Trade Capital of Skyrim Overhaul. And it was really close between that and Ultimate White Run. And I'll get I'll get into why I chose this one in a second. But basically what the Trade Capital of Skyrim Overhaul does is adds a bunch of merchants around. Like a book merchant, a clothing merchant. Hold. Um, uh, let's see. We'll be keeping an eye on um, you. A brewer. And a, a cook. And a couple others that I don't remember. Um, but it just it makes it feel so much better. Here we go. You're about to see this in all its glory. This is the trade capital of Skyrim. We'll this is what... Which White Run should have looked like in the vanilla game, in my opinion. Um, and I'm just gonna walk around a bit so you can see all the differences. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, I got distracted there. Um, but yeah, White Run is supposed to be the trade capital, so it should have merchants, and it should have more merchants. Should have more people, really. It felt so empty, as did most of the cities. Like you hear, uh, I think it's Isolda in the in the market. Say, I spent a lot of time in the market so I can learn the merchant's trade. But it's like the merchant's trade is always the same, and they always have the same four customers. That, and I get it that Skyrim is supposed to be very desolate, not a lot of people are supposed to be there, but it just, it didn't feel done. I'm not going to go in uh, Dragon's Reach right now. Um, but with these mods on, it feels like a real medieval city, and yet it, despite that, it still matches Skyrim's lore. 
because um, th that's why I didn't choose uh, Ultimate White Run. It added, it, ev it felt out of place. If every city in Skyrim was enormous and very compact, then it would feel in place. But because the only... But... <sighs> it seems like Whiterun and Solitude are the only things people want to do stuff to. Occasionally Riften. But that's it. Um, so... It fell out of place when I had it on, and I had to choose between one of them. I would have, I would have liked to have them both. I won't lie, um, but they did conflict with one another. Like they had buildings where there were supposed to be merchants. Um, but yeah, and it, uh, Ultimate White Run had a lot of the same merchants. Yet, uh. It added a lot of buildings, and like I said, it just, it didn't, it felt out of place. Oh, and I should mention I'm using an Xbox 360 controller. Um, it just, it's more comfortable for my hands than using a keyboard and mouse. Is, isn't this beautiful? It's just, it's so amazing to me. Uh, da, 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 what else did I want to say? <laughs> I have to. I have to talk about this thing up here. Staying safe, I hope. Next to the bannered mayor, there's this. This I I don't know why, but this is the thing that sold me on trade capital overhaul over ultimate white run. It's just this little outdoor seating area for the bannered mayor that doesn't NPCs don't even use, but it just I don't I don't know why. I just I love the fact that this is here. Um, I do want to say, whoever made tra Trade Capital of Skyrim Overhaul, I don't know if he just doesn't speak English very well, like maybe he's from another country, or if he's a standard American person on the internet, um, but he just didn't have, doesn't have good punctuation. What do you need? Like the, <sighs> a lot of the things that aren't capitalized, or a lot of the things that should be capitalized aren't. Tidings. Uh, and so that bothers me a little bit, but I get over it because just these subtle changes really make really make it. Uh, oh, here's the College of Winterhold um, salesmen. And they're not voice acted, but that doesn't matter to me because all they are are merchants. Yes. Uh, da, da, da. Watch what you're but, doing. It also bothers me that you can steal all of these things. Hmm. Or you can just take them and it doesn't count as stealing. But, you know, I guess for role players they want to do that anyway. Everything all right? All right, uh, I think that's everything I wanted to get to um, in this episode. In the future I will start um, Moonpath to Elsewhere. Before I end this, I'm going to go into the Bannered Mare. Um, I want to thank you all for watching. I want... And please, let me know what you thought of the video. I, I really want this... I really want to get better um, at present, presenting these mods to people. And... Um, I, I really just want to improve. And so if you have any um, mods you want me to check out, or anything else uh, please let me know and uh, I'll, I'll, I will check it out I'm gonna use this anywhere mod where I go create or no I don't want to create uh, da, 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 da. perfect a seat by the fire. Yes, you want a drink? No. Now please. And um. Questions. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.